What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth, and I'm back with you today for another reaction video. Today's a big one for me. Today, about 21 minutes ago, the new Lamb of God video for the song Nevermore was released. There was a, a uh, lyric video released, I believe, yesterday, but I did not watch it because I knew that this was coming out today. Huge Lamb of God fan, definitely my se second favorite band of all time, only behind Metallica. Seen them somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 times. Met the guitar player, Mark Morton. Used to talk to Randy online all the time until he removed himself from Twitter. So, without further ado, Let's get to it. Link to the original video will be down in the description section below. Lamb of God, nevermore. Ah, come on. It's like a movie. Do you imagine how loud it would be in the back of that truck if those amps were actually plugged in and turned on? They'd all be deaf. Let's go. I was very, very concerned when uh, Chris Adler left this band. I ain't so sure that that's been cleared up, whether he left or he was asked to leave. Either way, I think they came to a mutual agreement that he was no longer the drummer in Lamb of God. Art was filling in for Chris after Chris had a motorcycle accident. But I always thought maybe that they would lose like that spot in the band would lose a little bit of luster without Chris in it. Chris and Willie were brothers. or Well, they're still brothers. Chris and Willie as brothers, I thought after Chris departed the way he did, that maybe that would mean eventually Willie would leave. But that obviously hasn't happened. I do believe that I actually have heard that Chris and Willie no longer really speak all that much either. So I don't know what the whole story was there. And back to the whole point, Art has filled in that spot masterfully. I, they, they have not missed a beat without Chris Adler. This dude is pretty amazing, and they are definitely not bashful about putting him in front of the camera. You see a lot of featured stuff with art interviews, and when they've put the videos out for the self-titled album last year, was it a year? Year, year and a half? About a, yeah, I guess it was like last May or June that came out, I believe. No, it was 2000, I think June of 2020. So it's been two years since the self-titled album, self-titled album came out. And they have put art right up front like he's always been there. 
and I love that. The, they don't seem to treat him like the new guy, and I just think that that's pretty fantastic. I've seen them live since Art's been there. It was last September, I believe, and they sounded freaking spectacular. So it's good to see that they did, they never missed a beat after they switched drummers, and they've welcomed him with open arms, which doesn't happen all the time. Uh, but anyway... I think it sounds good with Art, and he definitely uh, holds his own place in this band. So going to God head. Across the devil's path, He's singing again. They're heavy and muddy. Listen to that drum work. Uh, pause here. I know something's getting ready to happen. Some sort of a breakdown or change getting ready to take place. That This is just freaking classic Lamb of God stuff, man. The sound, it, I just, I absolutely positively love these guys. The, just the guitar work is always top notch. The drumming is fantastic. John never gets any recognition as being of good of a as good of a bass player as he is. Randy is like a, a next level wonderful heavy metal singer. It's just it's I, I love these guys so much. As if you couldn't tell, I I, I knew I was going to be biased going into this thing. It's weird to see Randy singing again though. I think you can count the songs that Randy actually sings on. On, on two fingers. This one and Overlord are the only two that immediately come to mind. I don't remember if he did any actual singing on the last album. I don't think so. But I remember when he did that on Overlord, on Sturm und Drang, and it was very strange to hear. Sounds fantastic. Even stranger to see him do it live. But I do like it when he does it on that two-time occasion. I think it was only two. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I don't think that I am. It's cool to see Willie growing his hair back, too, with his Fu Manchu mustache and his trucker hat. Back to it. So going to God head. That drum work is nice.
very good. What's going on here? It's like the music from the thing. Very, very cool. Nothing there not to like. Absolutely, positively loved it. I can't wait to listen to it 150 more times while I'm editing this video. <laughs> that was fantastic, man. It's just typical Lamb of God. I mean, you, I, I've come to realize that everything that those guys put out, I'm going to like. I mean, there, this is, uh, the album is going to be out in October. It's called Omens. I believe that that is their ninth studio album. And I bet you I... I on the first eight albums that have, have come out, I bet you I I dislike less than five of them. I don't even know if there's five. I bet you it's less than that. And a lot of them are probably on that Burn the Priest record because that one was a little bit too punkish for me. I'm not not a big punk fan. And Randy is a very very heavily influenced punk fan. So that bled over into that Burn the Priest project. That was fantastic, man. The drum work in that stood out to me as being pretty special. I am always, ever, a lot of times when I listen to these guys, the steady guitar picking and the steady drum work, they sound like a machine to me. Every time I listen to them, well, I say that, use that loosely, not every time, but a lot of the time when I listen to them, I, li I hear, I listen to them in headphones a lot. And when I listen to them, when I'm working in the yard or whatever, it sounds just, that's what you hear when you have headphones on, you hear more double bass and you hear more bass guitar the bass the bottom end is a lot heavier with headphones on and they always just remind me of a non-stop machine and that's exactly what those guys have been for the last couple decades absolutely loved it like i said the link to the original video is down in the description below i'm getting out of here if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up if you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point Please do me a huge personal favor, click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. Thank you for watching, folks. Have a great weekend.